Hey boo, welcome to the Slay Girl Slay YouTube channel. What? I know, we have a YouTube. If you have no idea who I am, my name is Ashley. I am the founder of Slay Girl Slay and host of the Slay Girl Slay podcast. Now, if you have no idea what the Slay Girl Slay podcast is, then you need to take out your phone, boo. Type in Slay Girl Slay on your favorite podcast app. Look us up, listen to a couple of our episodes. I promise you will enjoy. Now, obviously, I am a little bit biased because it's my podcast, but I promise it will not disappoint. For those of you that have followed me over here to YouTube, thank you, boo. I'm super grateful for you and your support over the years. Thank you so much for listening to the show and for being here. The support that I receive for Slay Girl Slay online or over the podcast or over our Instagram and socials is never beyond me. I am so incredibly grateful for all of you. So why YouTube, you may ask? Well, the podcast has been on air since 2018 and we just kicked off season four, which is mind boggling to me. And every year I get feedback that people wish the podcast was longer. People wish that we were producing videos and more content around the topics that we talked about each week on the show. And in an effort to keep the podcast its own little thing, I decided that this year I am coming from behind the microphone and taking our girl chat to the screen. Each week, our podcast episodes will continue to air on Mondays, where we'll be kicking off the girl chat, and on Wednesdays, after you've had a chance to gather your thoughts and ideas, and you've developed your own personal feelings and your own perspectives about what we've talked about, we're going to continue the conversation right here on this channel every Wednesday. Now, let me just go ahead and, and set one thing straight. I know y'all have your favorite YouTubers who have these beautifully shot channels and perfectly edited videos, and they always know what to say, and they're producing six and seven videos a week. That's not happening here, boo. <laughs> no, mm -mm, not here. I mean, I have seen some really amazing videos on here that look like they were produced by Netflix and HBO. And while it's incredible, and I think you guys are very talented, that's just not happening here. <laughs> I tend to keep things pretty casual when I create content for Slay Girl Slay and I like to keep it fun. I feel like this goes for any of you content creators out there. Sometimes you get stuck trying to make content that's absolutely perfect, that you think everyone will love and it has to be the best of the best of the best. And then you start getting stressed and frustrated. And because your content doesn't look like his content or her content, then you start second guessing yourself and you start playing the comparison game and it becomes this really, really nasty cycle and you count yourself out of the game before you even get a chance to play. This is the internet and not everything is as it seems, boo. There are real people behind your favorite accounts, companies, Instagram pages, YouTube channels, podcasters, and let me tell you, all those people have bills, they deal with the same problems that you probably deal with and they eat, sleep, and drink the same way you do. I am choosing to have fun with this in an effort to connect with my listeners and hopefully meet more of you guys out there who have never heard of this show and hopefully we can connect on here and just as much as I am sharing my perspective and hopefully bringing some light to your day, that you too can do the same for me. Now let me tell you about Slay Girl Slay. I started Slay Girl Slay at the very end of 2017. I was working at my first corporate job as a campus recruiting coordinator or what they like to call talent acquisition. But on paper, it's really just another function of human resources. <laughs> But y'all, it was my first job out of college. So I was very, very green to the corporate working environment. And I had been at this company for about five years at this point. And for those of you that don't know, I am from Chicago. I am a Chicago native. I was born and bred in Chicago. We have the best food in the United States, possibly the world. Fight me, I said what I said. But anyway, I was at this company. I was trying to get a transfer to the Los Angeles office. I was 
ready to try something new at this point, right? Like I had been in Chicago all of my life and I was tired of doing the same thing every single day. I really, really needed this big shift to happen in my life. And I always wanted to move across the country. I should also mention I was the only black woman on my team and the only black woman in the region on that team. But that's a whole nother YouTube video. We can get into that later. So I'm trying to get transferred to the Los Angeles office and I was denied. Not once, not twice, but three times. Every year, my reviews were glowing at work. I was always taking the initiative on my team and I brought my best self to work. And for the sake of not spilling all the messy details, I made a decision. I could not forget this night if I tried, but I made this decision that one, I will never give someone else the opportunity to tell me that I am not worthy, capable, or qualified for any job. And two, I was about to move to Los Angeles, even if it was with another company. And then I promised myself that this was going to be my last job. Because three, I'm gonna create my own company where women, especially women who looked like me and shared the same experiences that I had as a woman of color, can thrive and be inspired and be motivated to become absolutely everything that they dreamed of becoming. In my mind, I thought, I can't be the only one that has these type of experiences in the workplace or just personally within my family as a woman, as a woman of color. And I was going through a lot at the time and I needed an outlet to hopefully share my experiences and relate to another woman out there who might be going through the same thing. So I went home, I purchased my domain, I found my Instagram handle, and two weeks later, just after the new year started in 2018, Slay Girl Slay was created. Yay! Anyway, I had no idea what I was getting myself into or where I was even going with this idea that I had, but one thing I knew in my heart was that if I could just help one person, right? Like if I could just reach one person and make her feel seen, if I could just say something that inspires one woman to chase her dreams, I'm doing my job. A few weeks after that, I was sitting on my bed and I said, I'm gonna create a podcast. There was no thought that was put into what I was doing. <laughs> I had never really even listened to podcasts before that moment. So I did what everybody else does. I enrolled in Google University or YouTube University and I figured it out. I was at a point in my life where I was done asking people for help and asking people to show me the way and relying on them to open doors for me that I already had the keys for. I literally Googled how to create a podcast and I put up my first episode. And let me tell you, it was not a beautiful experience, okay? My first several months of the podcast sounded so cringy and I hated the way that my voice sounded, but I kept going. And about four to five months in, I had a total of 44 listeners. Yes your girl was popping. Those 44 people were mostly my family members and friends and probably my parents' friends, but I was so happy, y'all. It felt like I had a million listeners at the time, but the goal was just one person. And keeping that in mind, I kept going, and I kept going, and I kept going. I was not sponsored. I was not making any money. But little by little, the show started to grow and 44 listeners turned into 10,000 downloads by the end of 2018. Then 100,000 downloads by the end of 2019 and 500,000 by the end of 2020. Now, we're just shy of a million. And the entire time, it was just me getting on my little microphone that I found on Amazon, sharing my thoughts and ideas in hopes to help just one person. There's a lot more to my story, boo, and I hope that you subscribe to this channel and stick around for a little while. What started out for me was just this idea I had sitting at my desk in Chicago. Now meets people all over the world. My brand has turned itself into this business and we now have a national book club, a membership called The Girl Gang. Shout out to The Girl Gang if you're in The Girl Gang. What's up, boo? And a podcast that's just doing its own little thing and now a YouTube. And I don't say this to brag, like this is not a flex whatsoever, but it's just me doing what I love every single day. And I have made it my responsibility 
to push you, to motivate you, and to inspire you to take the little ideas that you may have sitting at your desk or at your house or in your car and turn them into something great. Because if I can do it, you can do it. There is nothing astronomically different that sets me apart from you. I'm just a girl who refuses to settle for anything less than what I know I deserve. I'm just a girl who goes for it. And I hope that whatever you get from this channel, my brand or the podcast, that you are inspired to go for it too. That's it, boo. Listen, if no one told you this today, I am proud of you. I believe in you and there is truly nothing you can't do if you don't put your mind to it. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Always remember, it costs nothing to be kind. Show up and show out today and be the best you you can be. We'll chat soon, boo. Peace.